Hello everyone, welcome back for today's video tutorial. I'm gonna have a look over a new sensor that is ABS triple one five, and to get have a better view over this sensor, what we're gonna do is to log in to the website that is controleverything.com, and here we have to search on for this particular sensor, and let's see what we got for this particular sensor. And we got it's a sixteen bit four channel precision analog to digital converter, and you can see. These are some more features which you can add for this particular sensor. Now you can also add to cart. You can purchase this sensor from this website from here. Furthermore, I will be interfacing the sensor ADS triple one five with a Raspberry Pi and Python code is required for that. And to get the code, let's go to resource tab and here comes uh, the Python code sample which you are able to see on my screen and you can download the code as a zip file from here. Also, you can get uh, the code from the repository that is controlled everything community, and for that you have to log into GitHub.com first. After that, well, the next step is to have a look over the hardware connections we need to put together for this video tutorial. Let's have it. Well, in the hardware setup uh, for the connections, what do we require is this uh, Raspberry Pi, which you are able to see on my screen, and these are the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. Next, we require an I2C shield which you can see and it's available on the website controleverything.com. The real reason we are using this shield is to make easier connections with other I2C devices. So for that, gently place the I2C shield over the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi and make a connection. Next, we need to power up our Raspberry Pi and for that we require a micro USB cable just like that and gently insert it over here, the power jack. And for the internet connection, there are two options. First of all, this here is an Ethernet cable or a LAN cable. Now, gently insert it over this Ethernet jack, and you are done with the connections part. Now, for the other internet connection, we can also have a adapter, a wireless nano USB adapter, just like that, and you can have on the USB port. Now, what do we require is our sensor that is ABS triple one five, and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same rule has to be applied to the I2C sheet. So we are done with all the connections we need. Now what do we require is to have a look over the code and let's interface. For the interfacing part, uh, first of all we have to log in to github.com which is the website and here we have to check for the official repository that is control everything community and then click over here and here comes the sensor that is ADS triple one five and let's see what we got here for this particular sensor and here comes the python code but before moving to the code proceeding to the code we have to check for the instructions we need to carefully follow and it says that we have to download and install assembles library on the raspberry pi and the steps to install is this link let me open this link to have a better perspective regarding the installation process. As you can see, we have the dependencies, the commands and everything is there for you to follow the procedure. And after that, we have to download or git pull the code onto the Raspberry Pi and we have to run it. And this is the command to run the code. Note it down. Now get back to the Python code as you follow and it's a .py extension file. In the code, you notice we have imported assemblers and time libraries, the headers files as you can see and also we have the address of the sensor that is 0x48. In the writing section part, we are going to select first of all configuration register 0x01 as you can see and we are going to send the data which is 0x8483 and here we are going to select two points. First positive point that is AIN0 and other is negative point that is AIN1. We have the voltage range of plus minus 2.048x48 volt and continuous conversion mode with 128 SPS and the data here it is as you can see and that is, this is the writing command. After that we are going to read the data back from the register that is 0x00 and we are going to read it as a raw ADC MSP and LSV and here is the command for reading. After that we have the conversion of the data takes place here which is according to the guidelines and the formulas provided in the data sheet. So at the end as you can see we have the output data to be displayed onto the screen which is the digital value of analog input which exactly is the raw value. So this is how the code looks like. Now let's have a look over this working. 
Now let's have a look over the working part uh, that is to check the practicality of this code along with the sensor and for that copy the entire python code and let's open up the terminal for the respect by using an internet connection and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen it's dot py extension file and here we have to paste the entire code we have just copied and after that we have to save it now this is the command as you can see on my screen it's for the running of this python code and let's see what we got here and when I run again and again, we have the digital value of analog input and it's coming zero, which means there is nothing connected among the terminal one and zero, which is exactly mentioned in the code, as you can notice. After that, uh, instead, when I move a battery of double a battery of 1.5 volt source voltage and connect it among the terminals zero and one, and I run the command, you notice the digital value of analog input changes, but the change is almost constant because when I run again and again, the values are almost near to each other. There is not much a specific change. It means the battery is connected and this is how the sensor responds. It is the way of the sensor. So this is how uh, we have to check for the benefits, features and applications of this sensor. Let's have it. The ADS-1115 is a precision analog to digital converter with 16 bit of resolution offered and is designed with precision, power and ease of implementation in mind. The ADS-1115 feature an onboard reference and oscillator. Data are transferred via an I2C compatible serial interface for I2C slave addresses can be selected. Due to these prominent features, it is uh, useful in a lot of applications like portable instrumentation, consumer goods, battery monitoring, factory automation and process controls and a lot more. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab. From this site, you can download the code as zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.